all yeah. I'm <laughs> um, just looking at this Alaska magazine. Yeah. Um, I had once said on Guam that I thought the Eskimos were trying to take over the United States. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, could you get me the state of Alaska? Yeah. Uh, just looking at um, my own nose this morning. Yes, it seemed like it was kind of big. I don't like having a big nose. Mm -hmm. But then just looking at the pictures of some of the individuals. Uh-huh. In Alaska, right. <laughs> Do they have big noses? Oh. <laughs> Did somebody sew into the nose of those that are Alaska right now? Now, why don't you get me the health care and every hospital and every place where uh, all the insured go for their health care? Mm -hmm. Because I thought that somebody thought that Alaska was not a part of the United States. Now, I had known a few individuals that moved here from Alaska that used to go to anonymity meetings. Yes. And when I looked at their nose, oh my gosh, they got big noses. So get me all the medical professionals right in Alaska. And then any and all technology that's being used uh -huh, in any managed care of any insurance, uh, no, any company that receives insurance payments, <laughs> because we just can't have you sewing in. Pow, pow. <laughs> now, um, I am actually attracted to uh, Eskimo women. <laughs> For whatever reason, I did want to get some Eskimo women that do want to have babies. <laughs> The thought was, oh, well, look at this. Who's right? Right. <laughs> there were these two sisters. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had this dispute that went on with the state of Alaska. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Department of Natural Resources, the last great race on earth, the Adirond. Ooh. <laughs> and um, these two sisters said, well, <laughs> Uh, two landowners, Kelly Dixon and Donna DeFusco, yes, filed seeking a quiet title to their inherited homestead property free of public easements and rights of way. <laughs> now, uh, the state disputed that, the right of way of fur traders, miners, skiers, dog mushers, and so on and so forth, yes. Uh, but their father, yes, uh -huh. uh, Benjamin uh, Cowart applied for homestead in 1958. Mm. Now, I know the Iditarod is very important, and I've often wondered about my own family's homesteading. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you go through each and every state of the United States for the last 250 years? Yes. Uh, we want to preserve the correct history and our homestead approach. <laughs> now, when the sisters were who no longer live in it were first expressed concern over members of public trespassing, on two portions of the family's 240 acres of private property, ooch, mm -hmm, ensued on just which did our trail was in question. Yeah. Now, I wanted to know, mm -hmm, did Elmer and Verna Holes homestead in Clallam County? I want to know all of the homesteaded properties of the United States of America. Now, it seems to me that we're going back into the 1800s when we want to justify something. Yes, but they actually applied for homestead in 1958. Pooh. Now, my question was, yes, when was the last time you could homestead any property of the United States? And what were the actual guidelines of all homesteaded property in each and every state as they became states or before when they were territories? Yes. And then did my grandfather, Edward Budnick, homestead a place in Yuma, Arizona? Yes. In approximately 1916. Approach. And did my grandfather, mm -hmm, Elmer and Elmer Hulse. Homestead mm -hmm. in 1926. I'd like to know any property of Raymond Arthur Arp, my biological grandfather. Did he have any 
property that was mine. <laughs> and then Heidi's biological father, Griggs, yes, that was in the Navy, yes. Did he have any ownership of the saltpeter mines of Georgia? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, I'm wanting to know <laughs> of all of that you've gotten paid for, yes, is there any truth to this? Because you seem to have a problem with me having a hotel room. Mm -hmm. But proving grand larceny, yes, kidnapping, mm -hmm. child abduction, mm -hmm. forgery, ouch, fraud, yes, theft, ouch, embezzlement, yes. <laughs> and <laughs> what's well, your stupid fucking signature on there, Porter? What property did Elmer and Vermina Hulse? own on a Brian Road. I want to know exactly. Then Ray and Sue Holes? Yes. Vern Holes? Yes. See, I don't think that my Aunt Verna, yes. My Uncle George Sinclair, yes. Mm -hmm. Bud Sinclair, Claude Sinclair that died in the early 70s. Uh -huh. The father of Bobby, Brian, and Sean. Yes, yes, yes. All four of those children were adopted by my grandmother, Clara Holtz, when she married George Sinclair. Yes, a good Catholic. <laughs> now, why don't you tell me where the actual records are of exactly what the fuck I own in this county? Because George and Clara Rose Holtz mm -hmm, adopted four little babies. <laughs> Something about... Now, being the biological son of Douglas, Paul Douglas Budnick, yes. The marriage of Edward Budnick and Clara Hulse, yes. I am the actual only biological great-grandson of the United States of America. 